to make the crust, I'm going to use honey made graham crackers. I've used one package inside, one packet. And in my food processor, I have that all ground up. I'm going to add a fourth a cup of sugar. Melted butter. And that melted butter is uh, seven tablespoons. I mix all this up. And place all of that into your spring form pan. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator while I make the cheesecake. I have three packages of Philadelphia cream cheese in my bowl. I'm going to add sweetened condensed milk, 14 ounce can. That's all they ever come in is 14 ounce. Get that in there. My cream cheese is room temperature and very, very soft. If you wonder if your cream cheese is soft enough, I would recommend mixing it up first to make sure it's smooth with your beater and your mixer. And we're going to mix this up. Alright, next I'm going to add malted milk. Three-fourths cup. Mix and mix this in. Next, I'm going to add four eggs. One at a time. So mix in your four eggs one at a time. Next, I have chocolate. And what I did was I melted, I took a measuring cup, a one cup measure, I measured out one cup of chocolate chips and then melted them. I melt mine on top of the stove. I have a um, warming burner. It's just a warm, it only gets so hot and I like to do it that way. Now, rest assured, I'm going to get the rest of that in there. I know it's not all in there, but it will go in there. And a teaspoon of vanilla and mix. I have it in my baking pan, my spring form pan. I wrapped it in heavy duty foil twice because I don't want any of it to leak out. And I don't want any water to get into it because I'm going to put hot water, hot water around it. And this goes into my 325 degree oven. Well, here's my cheesecake, and it's already been in the refrigerator, so it's tomorrow and I've just pulled it out. I'm going to put some powdered sugar on top so it'll look nice. Um, now I baked this at 325 as you know and so it took longer to bake it. It took a hundred minutes. Yes I said it a hundred minutes. So that's an hour and 40 minutes total. And I took it out of the oven and it was jiggly. Let it cool to room temperature and then put it in the uh, refrigerator. And it turned out perfect in the water bath and everything. It just turned out looking beautiful. So we'll put this on top and we'll have a piece here in a minute. Here's a piece of it. I put some chocolate sauce around it and I've already tasted it. It's wonderful. That malt adds something spectacular to it. It makes it taste like a, to me, an ice cream. So, so good. Hope you try it. And thanks for watching.